Well, back in the good old days when we were spring chickens, all we had to do was put a bunch of grass blocks in here with the pistons on the sides and alternate them back and forth. Just like this. But as you can see, in 1.13 this no longer works. This is pre-release 10 I'm working with right now. It was just literally released just a little few minutes ago. And it, it's no longer working. So, I have had to come up with a little bit of a thing here. All we have to do is go to one side, and actually I am going to take out this little activator right there. And I am going to come to this side right... yeah, right here. And take out this line of blocks. And replace that with a block that grass and flowers cannot spawn on. And then I'm going to go back down here and put this back in. And turn it back on. And now it's providing a block update, which is breaking all the grass and all the flowers being collected into the minecarts below and sent into these chests right here. We're going to start off with a 13 by 7 area. And we're going to come right down to this point here, and we're going to knock out blocks just like that. We're going to take our hoppers and put a nice little line straight down through like so. And place more, uh, five more right here. One, two, three, four, and five, just like that. Now we're going to take our powered rails and place five going this way. And we're going to do that all the way across like so until we get to that back hopper back there. And this is going to be for our hopper carts, which are going to suck all the items through the blocks that we have over the top. Now we can place these blocks here. Oop, one more thing before I forget. We actually need some redstone blocks back here or some other way of activating these things. There we go. As you can see, all those are powered now. And then we can take some more solid blocks and place them right back here like so. And don't forget to close in this area back here because we're going to need it for, so well let me show you. We're going to need some more redstone back here with a dispenser facing into the dirt so that way we can uh, get this bone meal going. So let's go ahead and finish this thing up right around here. Here we go, we're going to put some of those across the front as well. And now right there where that guy ends out, we're going to grab a chest and place it right there. And that's going to be your collection zone. Now we're just going to expand our surface area here just a bit. Bring that all the way out to that edge of that 13 border, just like so, and then fill that sucker in. And do the same exact thing over here on the other side. After we get this filled in, we can start on the redstone. And that's going to be one hopper here, one hopper here. There we go, turn that guy around like so, so the, the hoppers are facing into each other like that. And that's going to create our timer. And we're going to place a block on top of that and a block behind that with a redstone dust on top of it with another block on top of it like so. Now we can start out with our comparators one on this side facing out of that hopper and one on this side facing out of this hopper. Now all we have to do to finish up our little timer is throw a switch up here like so and we're going to place a repeater coming out of that comparator and a repeater coming out of that comparator both of those are going to be set to one tick then we're going to come down in here and place pistons right along the outside edge right there like so. One block back away from the rails. And do the same exact thing on this side. There's going to be five on each side. And now we can go around the back of the pistons and place repeaters set to one tick right behind those pistons just like so. And there's that done. Now we can take some redstone dust to make a line going all the way back over to the timer. Do that for both sides. There we are. Now if we place an item in here, as you can see, that's how that works. Quick and easy. I'm going to turn that off for now and we're going to grab the dirt. So just grabbing the grass right here. And we're going to place a little bit on this side for starters. Now I don't want to place it all the way across because then we won't be able to place our hopper carts in. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to grab the hopper cart and we're going to place five of these in right against this back wall so that they get started going. Just like so. Now that we have our hopper carts inside running back and forth, we are going to place our final blocks on this side. Like I said, they do not have to be glass. They can be whatever block other than grass or something that uh, tall grass and flowers can grow on. 
That way we can get our block update and break the uh, grass and flowers. So there we go. We have that going back and forth. That's looking really good. Turn that off. And I'm just going to build a two block tall wall all the way around this guy. And I'm actually going to use stairs on this side to keep this from turning into dirt whenever we stop it. Just in case. And on this side over here as well. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One more on this side. There we go. And a bit more on this side. And now we've got our stair blocks. And we're just going to come in and face them in the, this direction here. That way the solid side is against the grass area. So our seeds don't go off down into the bottom here and become lost. <laughs> and then I'm just going to grab some glass. You can use whatever block you want. But, you know, I'm just going to use the glass just because that's what I did over there. So I might as well do it again, right? Right around the edge. That way all of our seeds and everything, flowers and all, stay right down in this area. Uh, one more thing we have to do is we got to go in here and knock out a block because I totally spaced it. And we have to find ourselves a dispenser. Place that dispenser in here, facing out towards the grass. Place that block back. And now we're going to connect this up. And I'm just going to use the uh, repeaters here. And I'm going to put this on both sides and link it up just like that. Alright, just filling this guy up with bone mill like so. And now if we go over here and flex the lever. Boom! There we have it, folks. As you can see, we're getting the block updates. And it is breaking that stuff like crazy. Now we can go down here and check our nice little uh, chest. And the items are just rolling in. There we have it. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. And while you're here, you might as well check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.